Cybersecurity Foundry is a hub within the University of Auckland that is bringing in academics from different disciplines to look at solving the problem of cybersecurity. We need to look at solving the issue from different angles. It has also an outfacing role that is interaction with industry and government. Let me show some of the examples of excellent research that we do. Cryptography is how we secure information over the internet and post-quantum cryptography is the next generation of security we're going to need in case someone builds a quantum computer which would have the power to break the codes that we're using at the moment. So what my team is doing here at the University of Auckland is developing new crypto systems based on new areas of mathematics and the hope is that these will be able to create new crypto systems that are secure even against a quantum computer. So of course there are many technical defences against cybercrime, but when the technology fails we need people to become human sensors. So cyber security needs to cover both technology and people because hackers and scammers don't just target our system vulnerabilities, they attack our biases and cognitive vulnerabilities as well. If we know that your eye tracking patterns are darting around instead of being able to focus on one particular spot, we can tell this person is in a vulnerable state or situation. We could increase the firewall or increase filtering in your email. And so knowing more about the situation and stressors in a person's environment can help protect them from cybersecurity attacks. My main line of research is a functional encryption. Functional encryption allows you to perform operations when the data is encrypted. Whether it's your Gmail or your Google account, everything is moved towards the cloud. With the standard encryption, you can protect the data when it's moving from A to B. The data needs to be decrypted, and that's when it's most vulnerable. Anyone can get access to it. Pacemakers have wireless communication capability, and this lends itself to all kinds of hacking possibilities. For example, hackers could hack so that they could drain the battery, or they could pace too rapidly. Um, so instead of pacing normally, you pace so rapidly that you can really harm the individual. Then that space is obviously going to be life-threatening. These are just a few examples of the excellent work that the team is doing at the Foundry. So please, get in touch.